guys, um, I am doing some last second modification. So Relator will be talking a bit about the first match that we're going to show today on Cobalt, which is going to be the gold matches. Relator, take it away. Lack of knowledge of some of these outfits. Um, we have for us today, for the boys on VS. Uh, TRXF, which is Terran Strike Forces on TR, and the NC outfit with the tag VS, known as the Terran Republic, which is um, part of why we're going to be using faction names for this stream instead of outfit names. Uh, so, yeah, that's a, it's a bit of a good meme, honestly. Um, so, obviously... That outfit, that little confusing NC outfit, was known as T in the last outfit war, and they had the fastest win of any bracket on any server. And, I mean, they're a combination of a lot of very strong infantry, very strong air, and they have people from Bling, a lot of people, a lot of skilled infantry players from around the EU servers as well. Um, it's a lot for boys and trxf both of whom i haven't seen participate in an outfit war yet uh, and they're gonna be i mean i'd be interested to see how they are looking to counter i mean they've got to come in knowing that this nc outfit won the last outfit war fully and is going to come out guns blazing looking to beat probably looking to beat their time record or with the longer times, at least maintain it. Um, I'm half expecting to see NC get double teamed very quickly, but I'm a, it's me a matter of if they get double teamed, whether they can play that or not. We got pronoun stall for time while pronoun finishes and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> other than that, I mean, we saw from casting Saltec Silver, which was probably the most competitive of the three brackets on Saltec, the winning team there was Rave, and they took heavy advantage of Ford routers. We saw a lot of cases of single infantry rushing a router to a base and popping in, and then a squad or two would spawn off that router and take it. And they were able to really take advantage of their strong infantry that way. Um, they also had a pretty strong air presence. So they're stacking up in a similar manner to how the NC is going to stack up against TR and VS in this fight. Just in terms of strong air, strong infantry. And just, I would expect to see a lot of the same tactics coming out of the NC side from this. Although, Rave did use a lot of construction on their home bases. Um, I know a lot. I'm not sure how much of this NC outfit really has experience or desire to use construction. So I'm not sure that they're actually going to really come out with much of that. Uh, yeah. That's a basic preview. I unfortunately don't know a lot about TRXF and boys, other than their, you know, fairly large outfits from Cobalt. I haven't really seen any of them play in a competitive setting before. You know, they don't really participate in lane smash or, you know, scrims or anything like that. They seem to be very much live focused outfits. But they are setting up here. They're missing a lot of population, actually. Uh, they do still have 12 minutes to get their people on continent, but right now, NC has 40% continent pop. Presumably, they're full 48. Um, and then 28% on VS and 26% on TR. But hopefully, that's just a little delay in them getting their guys on Desolation. They're starting to set up a bit. It's just... You good? Yeah, okay. Um, 
Yeah, all right, I'm nice. back. I have the scoring working, and the nice thing is now that they're all bound up together, so that is neat. Hello. Beautiful. Are we... Yeah, so obviously we can't really show you what's going on right now inside their warp gates in the interest of preserving competitiveness. starting strategies <laughs> and competitiveness, yeah. We, won't really, we don't really want to commentate too much on that until the match is actually underway, because again and unfair to those teams to kind of give away their starting strategies. But we can expect probably to see ants from all the teams. Early construction has been an emphasis on the home bases and the matches we've seen so far today. And I'm expecting to see a lot of tactical slot use again. We actually saw a lot of it in Saltex Silver. Every base I looked at pretty had those little umbrella shields and had Spitfires hanging out underneath them. Yeah, I'm gonna expect a lot from Reapers. They like an urge, urge, or not urge, sorry. This is the wrong, is this, this is... Wrong bracket. Pronoun. This is the wrong bracket. Well, <laughs> I guess, I guess TNC ones. is not gonna need a lot of it because, you know, <laughs> yeah. they probably zerk into it. I'm actually gonna expect way more like armory usage, like a lot of orbital strikes, a lot of Citadel shields. I'm not going to expect a lot of anvils because, you know, it's so easy to pull vehicles. You will not run out of accordion, so it, it's going to be pretty easy. My surprise at the last match was we really didn't see... I think we saw, like, a single orbital strike the entire match. They were really not uh, using their war assets, which, to be honest, I understand, you know, some people don't like orbital strikes or don't like using war assets, but... The well-placed orbital strike is actually a very useful tool and a good push. Yeah, especially because, you know, the point is on, like, the center of all these things. So if you want to wipe a point, it is easy to get back inside, but there's only three doors, so you do have to walk a bit. And we still have eight minutes to go before we start. Yeah, Looks I mean, like most groups have their people showing up. I mean, you can check the warp gates because you're just recording, so... Yeah, I mean, Does it getting fuller? Good. Um, just looking at population-wise, it's 39% NC still. It almost looks like their opponents really haven't managed to field a full 48. Well, it's actually Which is surprising not... given the relative size of the outfits. Yeah, um, but th then again, they need to make sure that the right people are on the continent. Like, it yeah. took, I played with Reapers last time, and it took quite a bit before everyone is on a continent that should be on the continent. Mm -hmm. So, kind of explanatory. But I hope they are hurrying up because there's only seven minutes left. Yeah. Especially, I mean, these outfits are large enough that they somewhat lag my attempt to look them up on a stat site, so they definitely have enough players. It's a question of where are they? <laughs> oh, these relics are really beautiful. Especially now I have the settings cranked up in the game. Oh yeah, they're nice. They, um... You know, one else thing I didn't see last game a lot that I was sad about, I only saw it once was that perfectly placed sky shield you can do, like, right under the relic. Oh, yeah. Because if you place it just right, it perfectly covers the bubble. Right? I mean, I think they, they deliberately modeled it uh, based on this base. Oh, I'm sure they did. Either that or just deliberately used the same dimensions for both. Yes, definitely. Uh, it looks like people are figuring out there's a ruffle going on with the exclamation mark cobalt gold. Yep. If you haven't noticed have... yet. Yeah, a lot of... Looking at chat here, yeah, a lot of H, R, N, T. They're still... H is still its own thing, but a lot of them are also part of T. Yeah. Uh, as I understand it. Yeah, we will have, as far as these giveaways go, we're going to try for two Daybreak Cash Codes Sound muted. bracket Sound resumed. per server. So you can expect two for each of gold, silver, and bronze in every server. And we would, as well as codes from on PSP three and four for the Russian streams, um, with kind of the same pacing. With all the 
kind of the the ringing going on. I'm actually kind of curious who boys pulled in because last time they did us as well. So um, yeah, the interesting thing of boys, and we're you know how we're saying that they don't have enough population right now. They have ninety six people online. Oh yeah, no, they're they're like they're a quite consistent outfit on Cobalt. Like they're pretty much I've seen them pull bastions all the time because they you know they're just one of those active. Yeah, they're generally the Zerg fit, and, but, you know, they're relatively competent, so they can pull this off. That's why they're also here. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's just they've got 5 minutes, 20 seconds to get their population sorted on Desolation. It makes me wonder if they aren't frantically changing people's ranks because they forgot to grant the <laughs> With like the permissions? That. Yeah, that wouldn't... Well, I mean, I think they did play last time as well, right? So I hope they... You would think it. that they'd have it fixed, but hard to tell. Yeah. And we'll see. Oh, look. It actually shows us as allied detected, but it doesn't fill the population, so that's good. <laughs> that is handy, yeah. Smart. Yeah, I mean, that's why we can get on desolation. Um... Yeah, I'm still seeing like a stray person here or there come running out of the spawn tubes. It's actually, yeah, there they go, there they go. There's Are they pulling like... vehicles yet? Are they standing near their warp gates? Are they prepping um, up? Let's see. They, yeah, they've got a good number of vehicles pulled already, and it looks like I'm not really sure what this little cluster of them are doing, except for shooting the ground. <laughs> but <laughs> are they testing they... their guns? I guess so. Got to make sure they still work in Desolation. Yep. Always have to do that. They really... they Honestly, they have a lot of people kind of standing around. I'm surprised there aren't more vehicles pulled. I wonder well, if they're trying to conserve nanites earlier, if they're going to... Well, that is stupid, because I think you... The nanite regen got fixed, right? So you... It did, yeah. Yeah, so you kind of want to pull the vehicles sorry. now, so you have all the nanites in a bit. Actually, right, it's Cordium, I meant. Sorry. For oh, for vehicles. vehicles. Right. Yeah, they yeah, don't yeah. count. Yeah. I will wonder how many people uh, reminded themselves to resupply everything up, like tank mines and stuff like that. Because what <laughs> yeah. I last last Everyone outfit wore, I forgot myself, it. so I was mm -hmm. six fifty short at the start of the match, so that wasn't fun. Ouch. Yeah. It's always funny to kind of flip around and see the uh, people that have come into Desolation with bounties still on them from live. Oh yeah, and then it got received right here. Yeah. This, uh, I kind of I enjoy the little like touches that they put next to some of these like desolation warp gates, like the little bridge next to the western warp gate. I'd like to see um, a map that takes advantage because you know this continent's built for up to six teams. Yeah, you can even see the warp gate hexes on the map, like they're already there. Yep, and they have names actually for the regions in between. Oh. I think. Yeah. If you go into some of the empty regions, you can see names like Western Mesa. Huh. So. Oh, yeah, you're right. Huh. Well, I will not actively go there right now just to make sure I won't be. Well, I might check later when we're done. It is really going to be interesting to see if we'll eventually get the whole supporting uh, of like 24 people. I think that was the original uh, thing they were considering. Yeah, I mean, I think one of the things that I've noticed from, I think it was Rel, was he mentioned the, uh, the um, goal for next round of kind of bracketing things by outfit size. I don't know if that would come with like a per bracket difference in like how many people they're expected to bring to desolation but i'd certainly like to see that where outfits are you know kind of going against people of comparable size to themselves both in qualifications and on desolation mm. do you know mentor by chance and he's commenting you have nice feet <laughs> i don't but thank you for the compliment but you accidentally share a picture of your computer with your bare feet next to it, which is the most common way for people on the internet to share their feet. Nah, I take pictures of my computer. Ooh, we have one minute left. It actually even says on the top right, preparing for outfit wars. 
Yep. Prepare for the battle to start. Ooh. Oh, this is the part where I go AFK for like an hour, right? Ah, uh, no, this is the part where you kill an outfit. Oh, right. Oh, right. You're lowering, you're down on your quota for this year. I am. Up. I'm sorry. And thanks to who reminded me to enlarge the minimap. It's always interesting to load in a new character and not to forget that. Try to keep the zoom level appropriate. Uh, yeah. 20 seconds. Oh boy. Are you checking the warp gates? Are they are they spicing up? Are they getting oh, ready? Yeah. People are up in the air now, getting ready. Looking at one warp gate. Nice thing about not casting is I can speed across. Yep. They're they're all prepared at all warp gates. This is the pre-match now? So maybe there will be another three minute one, I think. That's what they did the other time. Not really. Nope, there they go. NC's flooding out of their warp gate. A lot of armor. All oh. just de-rendered for me. Yep, I just have everything rendered in right now. A bunch of reavers going to center. It's actually a liberator as well, that's kind of surprising. NC has a full armor column. Kind of headed off in two directions. A lot of vanguards. Make sure. This is like I, the closest I've seen to a proper armor column, like in Planet Side recently, and it's coming from. Oh, it was a VS Galaxy going towards F, but it got completely destroyed. It was the boys' gal, and nice. the guys that were left on there. Oh, it was only one guy. That is interesting. Maybe it was actually a distraction gal? Yeah. Is that a thing in Outfit Wars? I haven't seen it yet, but I have seen a lot of dead gals, so I can tell. Kind of surprising a lot of armor for VS as well. Um, I don't think it's yeah. really useful in Outfit Wars to have a lot of vehicles up. You should have some, but... Everyone's getting on their opening bases pretty fast. Little delay on Relic B from VS. But yeah, those Relic are all F is going caps, fastest. So, yeah. I, yeah, I kind of expected NC to get on these bases faster. Yeah, let's see. That's what they're used to moving fast. It looks like TR moved towards D like massively. They got a lot of force there. Yeah. Watching an armor battle. Looks like just a couple mag riders sniping at some vanguards. And one guy just kind of hanging out in the middle of the road in his infantry turret. Not sure what the air arm is pounding on a TR right now on Relic D. Oh boy. Oh yeah, I wonder if NC are going to try and jump on that. Yeah, I think... I have the feeling that NC is going to push him out of D. Well, I, they can't capture it yet, so it's going to be I tricky. Mean, yeah, they, there is the I delay. Think... 20 seconds? Ooh. Yeah, Might snipe 20 it. seconds, I think, is going to be an NC. I would expect to see NC... Oh, yep, there's an orbital. That's a TR orbit. What? Yep. Probably a Why good idea. A TR orbital on their own base? Well, because NC can come here in like oh, 10 yeah, seconds they if they want to. They orbitaled NC Sunderer but didn't manage to kill it. Well, that's the problem. Any deployed oh, Sunderer orbitals orbital. will not kill they, it. They want that Sunny gone. No, it's delayed. It's delayed. It's down. Yeah. Um, oh, there's no one going from TR to Relic B. That's kind of interesting because they also had the opportunity to drop on B. And I don't yeah. see any pop in between either. Yeah. So and I think it's just going to be D here. Yeah, they're There's already flipping Morales. it. Will he die to a Spitfire? <laughs> Let's find out. Nope, he's still alive. No Spitfires here for Corrales. And NC sniped the Relic. They did it. Yeah, they got it. Oh boy. Looks like there's a small push going on the F as well. I'm going to check it out right now. Yeah, it looks like the boys, you know, boys got lucky in that. They had to make a choice, and they chose to jump on D instead of A. No caps going yet for the middle bases. Nobody's touched them. No, uh, I's moving forward. And... Oh, yep, there goes I. But NC did something really smart there, because they were the only ones being able to cap, cap Relic I now. So if they defend yeah. D just just on the last few seconds, they can just get I for free. Okay, they didn't jump. has to be out of orbital strikes at this point. No, well, they will have new ones in about 15 minutes. Yeah, as I say, they probably have a lot of people on live, which is going to end up getting them a lot of resources. Yeah. 
Looks like VS did a good job at preventing from uh, NC doing anything at Relic A. They have like a small force at A, but you know, they're capping F, so there's there's no way they can do anything. And it was like only like four people from boys, I think. So they that was a, some smart management of people there. So interestingly enough, there's people at I, but I'm gonna assume there's some vehicles there from VS just rummaging around. No, they're actually physically there. Interesting. They can they can cap I, so that's strange. And they still haven't moved for G um, from Vanu as either. So that's really interesting. Like. Must be a bunch of NC trying to prevent. Oh, they are so NC is actually preventing them from capping G because they're just shooting anyone that drops there. There's even a Vanguard waiting outside, killing any Sunny that tries to come from the VS warp gate. Yeah, I mean, I, I see. I honestly didn't expect them to be as heavy on the ground vehicles as they are on the NC side. I kind of expected um, a lot of air in infantry play. Well, if you're a really good Vanguard player, that AP will shoot things from the sky as well, so... Yeah, true. I think we have seen so far TR and VS really not touching each other, which is kind of what I expected. Yeah, there's some VS and NC fighting going on at A, um, trying to get control over it. But VS pushed back again on Relic F, which I expected, just to do the back cap, making sure that they yeah. cannot touch A at all. This doesn't look like it's going to be as inclusive of a quote-unquote speed run as it was uh, yeah the first time. yeah well they did do the decap though and they still hold it tr is not even attacking it which is also interesting um what i'm really surprised about is that relic h has not been flipped yet g just got flipped but h has not and it's actually alex again from t i think that is actually uh, the alex guy from uh, originally from uh, vs outfit Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, there are some NC on H right now. They're flipping finally. Surprisingly a bit long. Maybe they were, there, there was no people in the hex, so I'm kind of surprised about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, NC have, you know, pushed into F with significantly less pop, but... I'm surprised there's still, like, a persistent, like, group of, like, the NC being at A, even though clearly the, the back cap is still preventing them to do anything at all. Mm -hmm. It's maybe a bit of waste of resources. Dr. Psycho, I see you there. He's the platoon lead, right? Yeah, he is. Oh, and now it's VS capping Relic G. I would expect to Ooh, see Ooh, the are they going to do the... That. Yeah. Well, the there's... NC are pounding him mm. with Reavers right now. There's that yeah. air I expected out of T. Though in all fairness, it's just preventing the Spitfires from staying alive, but you can... Well, there's actually a lot of dead boys down there. <laughs> yeah, <I laughs> If mean, it's actually helping. They're, boy, they're pretty much hiding in the building now. Mm -hmm. I mean, honestly though, just look from the last match I cast, you know, the Saltex Silver. And we, had, we talked with one of the participants afterwards and he was really not having a good time with Spitfire's mid-game. There's a Corrales there trying to cap H. Yeah. Hey, Steal we the see a um, little NC base being built in the center with an orbital strike, air pad. It's like it's well, got well, the well. Deal. Yeah, they do. A few towers up as well. I'm going to check like Relic D. Looks built. like they finally started to attack it as a TR, so that's oh, good. Hey. It looks like they actually recruited themselves an Emerald Base Builder. <laughs> Yeah, op shacks from one TR is building their base. Ah. He's actually going to be one of our Emerald Silver casters later on. So he'll have some first hand perspective on Outfit Wars. There's some really, some really combined arms going on actually at D. There's, there's air shooting. So a few actually lightnings. Interesting. I guess they just don't want to deal with prowlers at all. Two. This Liv is ruining a TR ant over here. Who are you, Liv? Why can I not see your name? Yeah, there's also so well, those are stealth lips, and the observer cam will not register those until you press Q a million times. Gotcha. Blue mirror. Okay, that makes sense. Relic mm -hmm. F getting contested again by VS. 
There's really not many people in Hex. It's just one site that came over to poke this. Ooh, Street Scum. I recognize that name. Looks like TR actually fixed Dino. Yeah. VS are still losing Relic A with 20 seconds left. And they have 2-1 to one pop. I just don't know where it is. Ooh, there is a router up at D as well. Let's see how long that one will stay alive. Oh, VS are very close. They've got... There's only one NC player left on this point. VS just need to charge it. Oh, no, there's a couple more. I see Gelos down there. Yeah, now there's a few more. They're gonna take this point with like 18% NC pop and hacks, and they just took that. Wow, point. damn, that's nice. Yeah. That's a steal for T, and we're starting to see that infantry play become incredibly important. It looks like a, is it a double orbital strike that's been built in this base now, in the center? I don't see one on the map right now. I see two separate circles that are advancing outside each other. Oh boy, it happens. The up scores were disabled. <laughs> Lug me out. Uh, okay. that's yeah, that's what happened to uh, some of our the streamers last time. I think Arshi yeah. had the same problem. I put too much confidence in not having to touch the touchpad there. So <laughs> they will be back in a bit, guys. Don't don't worry about that. Uh, the last time I checked, though, it was. Um, Okay, I can actually check it here right now. Yeah, the NC is actually in advance by quite a few points, yep. actually. Oh my god. 80 TR points ahead. have a little fight going on on Relic B, and I don't think it's really in their best interest to do anything other than push NC right now. Yeah, but, I mean, if you have a small group, you should be pushing all the time. But, oh, it has oh, it has a Sky Shield, though. That makes it, makes it extra tricky to do and drop there, I guess. Yeah. I'm I mean, really honestly, surprised about D though. Like, look at D. Like, why? Why are not they are not pushing for that? Yeah, I don't know. They're all in their warp gate right now. Are they doing like a full galaxy pull from warp gate live style? Now they're re-pulling all their vehicles. Interesting. Well, I will not be looking too much just in case if there's someone spying one minute ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, relic F is ticking down again. TRXF, there's just been Blue Mirror running around here, plus this harasser has been just ruining the, t the vehicles and this Vanguard. It's actually not a lot going on on the other bases. Like, A seems to be the most busy base right now. Everything else is kind of quiet. Yeah. TR continuously trying to build construction bases. This Lib is just kind of has contempt for the Sky Shield. He's hovering low enough to shoot underneath it. Just daltoning away at this base. Keep hitting the wrong button. Relic H being... The NC are taking Relic G. Relic H, the VS tried to contest. And then again, Relic A, VS getting pushed off that the last moment. NC is pushing hard though, look at the, they're pushing G, they're pushing H. Yeah, there's a whole little vanguard column hanging out near A. It's headed over towards the VS a bit. VS trying to sneak in a routing spire. Alright, like. scores are back. So, 200 points now, they are like, <laughs> it's ticking fast now, they got all, so many yeah. bases, oh my god. Oh, I see there's a large force now at TR side. I'm going to check it out. They're, I think they're moving out. Uh, yep, yeah, they moved out towards D. Ooh, classic Zerg fit, maybe? Maybe, I mean... War of Numbers. It, I've noticed their vehicles were getting picked off. Oh, hey, TR1 SMR. Or Hassan, rather. Hassan, Good yeah. for them. But, okay, so they're trying to no. do a rep gal or rep uh, bus tactic. I'm not sure if it's going to work, but we'll see. Yeah, it may not be executed great, but this was, I think, a good tactic for them because they've it's been impossible for them to get vehicles through right now because of this vanguard and harassers that have been camping their gate. That said, the, those vanguards and harassers are still a kind of 3v... 48ing this entire armor column. 
Yeah, I'm really expecting to... I mean, the thing is, though, the relics, like, it's a really short cap time, so there is, like, a still sizable force of TR inside of it, so they, if they can hold it, they have a router up, um, hey, the vehicles relish. matter, but, you know, in the end, it's still a, a number thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. So it really is the question if, like, the NC will be baited to come and secure this, or if they will actually, you know, go to sea and just cap that instead and, you know, take a base, lose a base. Looks like A is actually going to be captured as well by VS this time around. I think both sides now decided just to force on one base only. So VS on A and TR moving towards D. Oh, there's the, there's the first NC orbital strike. Yeah. Kind of makes sense. Did he place it in front of the door? He did not. Is that going to help out? Nah, it's way off to the side. It's going to kill off. I wonder if there might have been a router. Oh, right there. there was a router and they also killed all beacons. But there's no... Yeah. I don't see any push right now from NC. So... They should have combined it, maybe? Um, no, I see one. Nope, they've got beacons. I see an NC beacon. Right, but it's 14 seconds, all they need to do. I don't see any Reavers around, so they could just go on a point as TR and still cap it. Yeah, I mean, there's one guy hiding inside this crate. But he's gonna probably... Yeah, he died. Yeah, yep. yes, sir, TR's gonna get this back. Yeah, but, but there is no backup meta. Relic C to a ghost cap. Yep, and they have no backup meta, so that's really a shame for TR because if they pushed on I and E at the same time, they could have, you know, I see yeah. no vehicles in the air either to attempt this. So I think this is going to be a really slow move. And there's actually a little bit of yeah. warp gating VS action going on. Take Relic a as well. Yep, they just did. I expected that to do. So I guess yeah. a bit of Zergvit mentality. Is it going to help though? Well, maybe it will because, you know, right now it's 305 for NC. And, you know, if it's 500, then it's pretty close. But, you know, there's yeah. still 450 to go. So Indeed. it might actually get tricky. Yeah. What VS, I think, really needs to do now is dump all their population on Relic H. They had that to about 20 seconds. 28 seconds left on Relic H if they can Ooh, get that cap moving again. That Vanguard is dirty. He can sit on the hill. And there's still a VS router up. I'm actually surprised there's no NC beacons here. Nice C4 action going on. Interesting, the router is actually pretty exposed from the door, so they could easily kill this. It's a bit of strange of uh, engineer wall placement there. Some ground floor action going on. Yeah, I think they're gonna kill the router here. Yeah. Oh no, VS is spawning a lot harder here. Yeah, Relic H is. And they should they though, should cap Relic this. Losing to a ghost cap. Oh, they did. Yeah. This Relic is, D is still getting ghost cap by problem. TR now. Also yeah, interesting. I see that. TR may be starting to pick up on the idea that. Uh... You can ghost cap. <laughs> Oh, it's really quiet on the A front again. That's interesting. Yeah. D is actually an equal fight, but TR seems to be holding it. C yeah. is still getting ghost capped. I wonder if anyone at all, like, yeah. Reavers I mean, are pretty much free, so they can fix this really fast. NC does have a beacon. I don't know, that beacon's gone. But to be honest, a lot of their pop was still outside in vehicles at uh, Relic D. Ooh, they're pretty smart. Look. That C point, which actually got uh, disconnected by Vanu, they actually have less than 12 people in the hex, so you won't notice that there's actually a large force there. So even if the NC oh. will drop here with one person, they will not be able to cap it. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's good. It looks like a simple ghost cap from the map. Yep, there's an entire squad here. There's definitely, I feel like a lot, the, you know, both boys in TRXF are starting to step it up. Yeah, Minute. definitely. It could be a case of too little, too late with NC only already hitting 40 points, but you know, same thing at Relic I now. I'll bet you. I will really appreciate here the 
you know, the NC group with their fancy VS tech using purple camo, <laughs> shooting purple yeah. people. <laughs> okay, Relic I was an actual ghost cap. Man, and I got fixed, I see. NC have dropped four people to deal with a single stalker infill. Who is currently still hiding on this point. Oh, the TR one, the clickbuster guy? Yeah. NC haven't spotted him yet. Oh, he oh, needs to stop moving, moving though. Yeah. Yeah, he's running away, but they didn't see him in the redeploy. No, he now. didn't. He was right next to him. If he can jump this x tac guy. No, the x tac guy redeployed. He's got this cap again. Oh, he just needs to de Oh, he needs to wait one more. Oh, no, he decloaked. Oh, that was a bad idea. No. Oh, is he going to be found out? Uh, no. Some oh, no, he redeployed. Oh, he just needs to decloak. Come on, buddy. There you go. <laughs> well played by the soccer infill. Aww. That's gonna be a cap again. And gonna 404 have to points. Oh, that. they have more than, again, still a more oh. than a double lead than the second highest score. Now this Reaver is just pounding the inside of that relic looking for somebody ghost capping. Yeah, this, smart idea. This infill has already run away into the donut. Yeah. Oh, Opsex is down there trying to fix it. They still have a router up, so that is actually kind of an expensive choice, I would say. Yeah. I think the oh, is the infiltrator actually trying to kill it? I Relic think he is. D going down with two to one pop defending it. I'll just take a brief second before hopping over. I'm just chasing the stalker now. Oh, it's just shrimp. That makes sense. Oh, Relic A is actually moving. Let's check the action there. I think Relic. Relic D, we can just put down to shrimp being shrimp. Oh, my boy, Crush John. Oh, yeah, we're gonna kiss Crush John. I mean, you know, when you just look at the lineup of players that T is putting forward, you know that they're probably any inf big, even infantry fight, like in terms of numbers, they're gonna come out on top. Yeah. Oh, there's actually the NC Vanguards are just blasting off anyone that tries to get on red vehicles. Did they put a sunner up here? They did. It was an interesting choice by boys, like um, a little bit northeast of A, they put up a sunderer and they're just kind of zerk assaulting it. Kind of a weird choice. It's not really effective. I do like seeing the whole meta with the... I mean, meta, it's like a rep Sunday with vanguards, it's just so extremely effective. It's really oh, yeah. boring for the guy driving, but it's just really amazingly helpful. Yeah, for sure. And as far as these two outfits go, I mean, Boyce has, I think, done the best of the, you know, TR and BS. They're, you know, they're losing points that they shouldn't necessarily lose. I mean, we're seeing T on NC winning a lot of, like, two-to-one fights that, you know, they really have no business winning. But it, oh, yes, VS. Someone running in and saving Relic A with one second left Ooh. on the timer, but I don't think he's going to live long enough. Oh, three seconds. Oh, but there's Gellos. There's there is Gellos. No. Oh, Gellos fixed it. No, I think the Spitfire actually killed the guy. He's actually moving towards VS still. Oh, yeah, there's a huge VS redeploy coming in here. Oh, boy. Boys is Gellas gonna make it? Pop on the hex. I don't think he is. Gellas is the oh, he's still alive. <laughs> he's still alive, but there's a lot of. Oh no! Did they actually wipe all those VS? They did. They did. So I think they were hiding in this little container here, and that's about it. They still yeah. have the beacon. Oh no! It's they like just went a down. Mini version of a clown car. Interestingly, has, both uh, don't have a router up. Yet. Yeah, I think NC is gonna secure this for sure. Yeah, that was a nice. Push back it was a good though. attempt for sure. Yeah. Where are we at now? We have VS. We are sorry. NC at 478. Boys <laughs> at. On v <laughs> Shut up. Boys at 210 and TRXF at 118. Yeah. So we're, we've almost reached the uh, max score of the old iteration of Outfit Wars. Got about 250 left for T before they can win this. And once yeah. again, two outside relics going down for them. 
VS yeah. making a move to ghost cap relic C from the TR. I think this is the first base cap between them I've seen. All right. Yeah. Uh, D is definitely just getting zerked, I guess, and. Yeah, I mean, at this point, what they've seen is that they kind of need to dump all their pop on a point. Yeah, but the problem is... they end up getting out-farmed by T. Yeah, but they don't move to E or I at the same time, so they're... DRXF really has to step up and learn the back cap meta a bit more, because otherwise you're yeah. just trying to resecure the same base and capture the same base in this case, too. Ooh, there's a little triple action going on at H. I'll check that in a second. Yeah. Unfortunate move for uh, boys here. They've got an orbital strike up in their warp gate hex, but it doesn't quite reach the point at Relic A. I yeah, the and C one has actually not been used yet, which is interesting because I guess they're just saving it for the final moment. Yeah, maybe somebody's saving it just for the moment where they think they can kill like an entire platoon with it. I'm, I'm unsure if this one Vanguard, Elbink, has ever left the center of the map. He's just been shooting down, like, H the entire match, I think. <laughs> Sounds <laughs> think about he, right. He's probably returning to get some ammo. He's also going to be casting later Emerald Silver as well. With uh, Doc P, actually. So a lot of people playing for T in this match that are going to end up playing for Outfit, or casting for us later on. I'm curious where the VS pop is when in the HX. Like, I don't see any. I've noticed a lot of mysterious population deficits. Ooh. Pop sacks Relic nailing a them. Getting saved last minute by uh, VS? Again. Oh. Wow, and they have overpop. Yeah. Is it inside? Oh. And Dr. Psycho and Cross John and company jumping in and saving it wiping quite a lot of bs off this point yeah talk p and gallus over here as well the heavy hitters got up and fixed it yeah see this is the danger though like all they have to do is just do resecure meta right now mm -hmm. oh yeah as long as they keep what they've got they're fine oh, look at this tr doesn't even have any points anymore now hey i mean think about it we got cross john and we got gallus and we got op shacks i mean really it was uh their NA riggers that are going to win this for them. Yeah, it looks like TR is going to do <laughs> another massive pullout from the warp gate because I just see their their warp oh, gate yeah, being that's full. 24 to 48. I yes. understand where they're coming from, but they're still very much treating this like live and not moving quickly enough. Yeah, and the real problem is if they like right now that setup is at I I think that's saving them in a sense like Looks like NC is focusing on VS being kind of warp gated uh, vehicle wise and not on TR. But mm -hmm. if they would do that to TR, I don't think they could do anything at all. Yeah. And VS again contesting Relic H now. They're kind of learning to move around a bit here. Looks like TR is actually going to attack uh, VS in this case. They're going to see. And oh no. Yeah. Oh That's an no. Interesting choice, Someone man. already lost the lightning there. <laughs> <laughs> They they took the wrong route, like the ah uh, yeah the uh, oh two which will do pirouettes in midair when you tap it. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm not sure why they didn't just do the center path. That's the problem if you don't know the map, I guess. Some like the really dangerous yeah. paths. I mean, VS and TR at this point, I think they may have realized that they're fighting over second place. Yeah, that's probably. I, I honestly, that's maybe what I would do instead as well because you kind of certain yeah. you're losing, so you might as well just you know yeah, I mean, ignore at this the other point, outfit. If I'm them, I'm like, okay, they're 125 points from winning, and they've got three times as many points. Or in the case of TRXF, closer to five times as many points. So I'm just gonna try and as TR try and desperately claim that second place at least. Yeah. And I lost the scoreboard again. <laughs> Good job, Pronems. Over on Relic C, farming this TR armor column, attacking a VS base. Yeah, they were they were attacking VS too, and they kind of cleared most of them as well. So. I mean, it's really killing off this armor is to their benefit. Yes. This armor that won't come rolling up on another one of their bases. I guess the big difference, though, with versus normal gameplay is that it doesn't particularly matter, though, as in resource-wise, it's more like a time-wise sink that they kill. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, resource-wise, 
I haven't seen heard firsthand. There's something I want to check in with some participants on. Is kind of how much effect this time change has had on whether they actually need to bother gathering cordium for their work gig. I don't think you even have to uh, harvest any cordium at all. Ooh, I think uh, VS is gonna try and get that orbital strike going. Oh yeah. It's kind of useless though because it's in uh, the center of the base and there's actually oh well oh is this new? Mm -hmm. Does it kill? Does it kill air now? It should kill everything in its path. Yeah, but air? I thought it didn't affect the air vehicles. No, it does. I've seen oh. people orbital strike bastions. I mean, it didn't really help, but it was kind of fun to see it explode. <laughs> yeah. I mean, okay. at this point, again, if if I'm in the point where I'm like, you know what? Well, see, VS is... If I'm VS right now, I'm like, okay, I'm not getting first place. These people are capping my base. They're trying to come for my second place. I'm just going to see how many kills I can get with an orbital, honestly. Like, at this point, it just becomes about XP for me because, it, you know, it is live. It carries over. It is getting a lot of remarks of life now, though, with like kind of a little triple fight going at sea. It looks like they're actually just gonna play the meta, though, because they're trying to cap B and then C side. And they will probably succeed. Dirtle wants you to know uh, that you're an NA caster who's always messing the stream up. Mm hmm. <laughs> Here you go. There's the scoreboard. You're happy now? <laughs> Ooh, it's only 40 points left. <laughs> oh boy. Well, this is this is going to end pretty quickly. Um, yeah, I, I think... mean, T's got this in the bag. Yeah, I'm actually was kind of hoping that... Oh, are they? No, they're not. Okay. Uh, it's T, Cap T tried to steal Relic C there. Yeah, they are. I mean, <laughs> they, they almost did, but they didn't push hard enough. They and are gonna ghost TR went B, full, full force on them. I think they, you know what, I think they may have wanted to end this match owning the entire map. I think NC is farming right now with the orbital strike. Oh no, it's a VS it's one. It's VS orbital. No, only one guy jumped in here. The problem is, you know, this is a perfectly orbital shaped crescent. Or donut rather, but people aren't going inside it. Yeah, this one's in the bag for T. One more tick and... This I think over. Relic A won't even be captured. I think the match is... Yep. <laughs> yeah. So... Oh, look at that. That was kind of funny. You saw that? It says, congratulations to the Terran Republic. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, man. And I mean, hey. I think we can point out that uh, T is not the true winners of these match because they did not end owning the entire map. And I, I don't think that's forgivable. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's it's kind of disappointing. I expected it's, better. It's a hollow victory for them. Yeah. All right. Um, let's see, what time are we at? We actually have only nine minutes until preparation starts for the bronze Next bracket. Match. So we're going to have to start heading over there. Okay. Yeah. Credits to T at least for getting that done quickly enough that we have plenty of time to set up our next cast. Exactly, yeah. Ooh, <laughs> wow, so it actually was pretty lengthy if you think about it. Yeah, I mean, compared to their speed run last time, I don't think they did as well this time. Like, points per... If we want to measure their performance in points per minute, I don't think they performed as well this time. Mm. Well, let's see how quickly I can scuff the scores for the other team. Because <laughs> I basically have to create a mask for each of them, and it will be all different because they're all positioned differently. So let's hope it's all working. Well, it wouldn't be a proper planet side stream if it wasn't scuffed, so that's you know that's how it belongs to be. I really hope that next time around they will uh either get an API for us or something like that, so we don't really have to do this kind of mixed bag. All right, I will cut the voice for a second so I can actually work on this and discuss some things with Relator. We'll be back in like seven minutes or so. So Sounds see you guys in a bit. Cool. I'm prepped.